Rock here, You First Outdoors. Jen is with me. Morning here. We're on Gunlock Reservoir. As you can see, it's not a big reservoir. Pretty small. However, uh, word on the street is uh, there's some large mouth of crappie in here. So that's what we're targeting today. Uh, the lake was poisoned in 2015 to remove the smallmouth bass. And today we're going to find out if anything's happening. So we're going to do the usual approach, try everything, work shoreline, work deep, and see what we can dig up. So let's go get some. All right, so according to the fishing report, the latest as of the end of June, uh, the bass in here are small to medium size, 10 to 12 inches. So we're not sure, of course, of the size of the problem, but uh, I'm going to try these these sliders here with the uh, small chartreuse jig head and this is what they look like and it works really well for the smaller fish but uh, well we'll see what happens so I like to use the Kalen's crappie jig heads and chartreuse these are 1 and 16 ounce and these work great with the sliders alright so that's what that looks like all rigged up and we're using pretty light tackle, uh, six pound test, so we can get this for the casting anyway. And um, yeah, we'll see what this does, if anything, and we'll try other things. So we'll find them. All right, so it's early July. Highs today, 105, something like that. And the water temperature here is. 76.3 at about 8 in the morning. Pretty warm. Alright, let's go find some fish. Right over here, got some brush sticking out. We're going to try right around that. It usually holds fish, so we get a little closer here. And it's getting shallow. We're going 17, 16 feet. Alright, so it goes deep to shallow real quick. I'm gonna go to the old standby five inch white grub. Try this. Water's kind of cloudy, so maybe that might uh, spark some interest. Alright, I'm gonna move to this little curly white tail. What is this? It's a yum, just a grub. Two inch, yum, two inch grub. Let's see if that had any action. So I just, uh, I was casting about eight feet of water. I was casting a little shallower along these reeds. And uh, as I was bringing this lure back in, I saw some little minnows about that big. A whole swarm of them followed up. That's a good sign because we haven't seen any fish. They're small minnows. There's got to be bigger fish eating those minnows. So we just got to find that bigger fish. So they're in here. I haven't had any action so for the last two hours, so I'm starting to wonder if there are actually any fish in here. But that was good seeing the minnows. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but there are fish in here, small ones. So that would lead us to believe that there's larger fish that prey on them. And we just gotta figure out how to catch them. So there's one right there. Minnow. Maybe be a baby bass. Interesting. You got a fish? No, I just had a hit though. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. All right, I got a fish on. Yeah, it's a little fish. Well, I mean, they really shallow water too. Look at this thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. 
<laughs> it's a little bluegill. And you hit on that. That little, little grub there. Look at this thing. <laughs> no. Oh, well, we didn't get skunked. <laughs> so, I caught that little bluegill like that. That little grub, I just, I wasn't even moving. I had it sitting on the bottom and came and hit it. We'll try that approach. It's kind of a slow retrieve. Yeah, I'm getting hit. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> no way. It's a bass, I think. Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh, we found him. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh no. <laughs> That's great. Oh. Wondering if the larger fish may be in deeper water. So there's lots we don't know, but we are trying to figure it out. This definitely looks fishy over here, huh? So we're coming up to these bush line here. It's 18 feet deep, so we got some water here. Now this one will last. I think the reservoir is dropping, but. Um, a little deeper water into this, all this growth here is good for uh, fish. That's for sure. So let's see if we can uh, pull one out of there. Not much happening. The only thing that is happening is the heat. It's hot. Wish the fishing were hot. <laughs> All right, we'll switch to Yum Grub 2 inch and Christmas tree. Hey, that's the ticket. That's going to do it, I think. Well, we've been working shoreline. Nothing. So we're gonna go out to deeper water, about 45 feet right here. We're gonna work that. Keep anything's out here in some cooler, deeper water. So we're both using five inch grubs. Jen's got the pumpkin, I've got the white. We're just gonna let the wind push us. And we're between 40 and 50 feet of water. We're gonna work that, see if anything's in deeper water. So there doesn't seem to be anything in shallow water. All right, so we're not getting anything. So we're gonna try trolling. And we'll do a chrome and a uh, sunrise perch. See if we can pick anything up that way. All right, we're gonna try the trolling method for a bit. Let's see if that brings anything out. I'm starting to wonder if there's actually any fish in here besides the minnows. didn't produce anything. So we're gonna go back to grubs for a minute. Oh, fish on. <laughs> 
You got a fish on? I do. Fish on. Is that a fish or is that a snag? Is it fighting back? I swear I had a fish and then it turned into a snag. Alright, let's have a look at what we've used out here today. This is going to be the five inch grub, and then you can see significantly smaller the two inch grubs here, the slider and whatnot. Only thing that worked was this. That basically caught me two minnows. No fish? I think that it needs a couple more years. Yeah. Like I said at the beginning, they poisoned this reservoir in 2015 to kill all the smallmouth, killed everything else and it just hasn't come back. So, uh, may wanna, just cause we didn't catch anything doesn't mean the fish aren't biting here. It just wasn't our day. Maybe there's a secret we don't know or they bite at dusk or, you know, right at dawn. Who knows, you know, it's just fishing for you. <laughs> so anyway, we'll try a different reservoir. Thanks for watching, tight lines. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out.